Hi, I'm Steve. This is my YouTube channel. Every once in a while, my girlfriend Deanna and I will do things together, but mostly when it's just me, I'm gonna tell you crazy stories. This one is about the time that someone tried to kill me when I was 18 years old. I'm from the country outside of a small town. And when I was 18, my friends and I decided that we were gonna move out because we knew everything that there was to know about the world and get an apartment, which was also in the country. Why would somebody ever spend money building an apartment building in the country? But it was like this like row house, sketchy murder scene motel looking apartment building. But for us, it was like the coolest, best thing in the entire world. So anyway, I moved in there with my friends and for a summer, we literally lived off hot dogs and a bag of potatoes that we would cut up into and make into french fries. Luckily, we were all 18 and still had the metabolism to back it up. If I tried to do that again today, I would probably just die. Um, so anyway, we, we partied all of the time. I mean, um, some of us were still in high school, so there was just people coming and going all the time. I was the only one that actually had a bed and everybody else just kind of slept on the floor or couches or the pile of clean laundry, which somebody did once and then it turned out to be a good idea that people would do and then people just always slept on the clean laundry. They, uh, and then the laundry wasn't clean and anyway, it was, it was messy. The, so one night I had, I just, I'd had enough, like, you know, all this partying and drinking and, and I was just feeling a little burnt out. So I decided to not go out with my friends to this festival that was going on, you know, in one of the nearby towns. And there had been this drama going on in the background that I wasn't really paying much attention to. Like this dude called me up one time and he's like, hey, I hear you're sleeping with my, uh, my ex-girlfriend, you stay away from her, I'm gonna kill you. And I'm like, dude, I don't even know who your girlfriend is or who you are, so basically go F yourself, right? The, uh, and, then I, and then I hung up the phone. Now, little did I know that that night that all of my friends went out to, uh, to this festival, two girls had stayed back at the apartment to hang out with me. Is not what you're thinking. In fact, in fact, this is how it all went down. So one of the girls, um, and she was like actually super attractive, the had said, hey Steve, um, come into the washroom. I want to talk to you about something. And I'm like, okay. When I went in, she literally ripped open her shirt and put my hand on her breasts. And I was like, so I'm 18, right? And I'm like, oh my God, this is like, this only happens in the movies. Um, but I also had a girlfriend at the time. So I was like, no, no, I can't, I can't. And I did the right, I did the right thing. At least what I thought was the right thing at the time. So I, I left the bathroom and never gave that girl uh, a second thought or that situation. And then I'm in the other room talking to the other girl that was there who also happens to be the girlfriend, the ex-girlfriend of the dude that had been calling me up. And so the girl who had convinced me to go in the bathroom with her calls up this guy and she's like, Steve's in the room with so-and-so, no one's here, this is his address, get over here right now. So I'm sitting in the room talking to this uh, girl and I'm sitting on the, on the edge of the bed and the girl says, I think I hear, what's a good name? Let's call him Rocky, because it makes him sound tough, right? I think I hear Rocky. And I'm like, what are you talking about, Rocky? She's like, no, I hear his voice. And so my, the door is like this far from the uh, edge of the bed where I'm sitting. And all of a sudden, the door bursts open, like he, like, he, like he kicked it down, and he had a bat in his hands, and he swung it 
straight down at my head. Now, I get my arm up just in time to like protect my, my head and he shatters my elbow with the first swing. And then, but I didn't know that my arm was broken at the time because everything happened so fast and adrenaline and all that kind of things. So then he swings again and, and I duck this way and he like skims the side of my back and you know, later on there's this big welt and all that kind of stuff. And then he swings again and I dive the other way and he misses and, and hits the bed and I grab him and I throw him over me this way and, and his head goes through the wall. Now, I'm not claiming to be like a tough guy or anything like that. This is just kind of like how it went down. So his head goes through the wall and I jump on top of him and we like fight for a minute and then I get him in a chokehold. And he's like, oh my God, man, I'm so sorry. I, you know, I, I didn't, you know, want to cause any trouble. I just, just, just let me go, right? And, and I'm like, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of an old softy at heart. The, so I, so I let him go and I push him away and I'm like, all right, man, then just, just, you know, get the F out of here, basically, right? And, uh, and he picks up the bat and he swings it at me again, like this way. And I step back, and when I step back, I step out of the door. Um, so, and so the door was, you know, here. So he kicks the door shut in front of me and locks the door. Now remember, we're in this like motel looking kind of serial killer type, uh, you know, apartment building. So I ran around outside and came back and looked in the window and, and he was just there talking to her. So side note, when I ran around outside, there's this like, big incredible Hulk dude in, in the kitchen who I guess this other guy had brought with him. And this guy's like, so I weigh about 180 pounds. This guy was like 230 anyway. The, um, so I ran around, I looked in the window, he was just standing there talking to her and I ran back around. And by the time I had gotten back in, the big dude had kicked the door down cause I guess he heard a commotion between like the guy and the girl, um, drags the dude out. The dude sees me and comes after me again. The, um, and I, I hit him with my motorcycle helmet and, um, and then finally like they decided that, you know, enough was enough and the big dude dragged him away and, and they left. Okay. So now, now bear in mind, this is like, you know, pre cell phone days. I know it's hard to imagine any time that's pre cell phone days, but, but this is pre cell phone days. So we had no way of like getting a hold of my friends or anything like that. Um, so I, I was, I was, I was pretty messed up. I mean, my elbow was shattered and I didn't really know. So I wandered outside, uh, into the woods and I just kind of sat there and I felt myself starting to fall asleep. And I knew in that moment that I was in shock. So, and, and that if I didn't get up and go back in the house and do something that, I don't know, bad things were gonna happen. I probably wasn't gonna die, it was summertime, but you know, bad things. Uh, so I went back in and I called my friend's uncle and who were like these like hillbilly tough guys from way back. Um, so they came down, made sure I was all right. Uh, and then they went out and got a hold of my group of friends. So then, now bear in mind, none of us had any idea at this point that this other girl had called this guy on the phone um, cause, and she was playing it up. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. And you know, she actually sounded like that. The, um, so my friends, we, we, we pile into the car and we go looking for these guys, right? They, uh, and, uh, and they're driving around looking for them everywhere they can. And the big dude, um, who had driven the other guy there, the, they went to his house, right? And then I'm all, I'm all messed up at this point, right? And my friends knock on his door and they're like, hey, is Rocky here? Remember we picked Rocky because it's a tough guy name. Hey, is Rocky here? The, um, and the guy's like, no, he's not here. And my friend was like, well, give him this for me. And he started from down here and he just he sucker punched the guy and like knocked him backwards into the kitchen and then like, walked away without even looking back. You know that like, I think there's another like YouTube video out there that um, has that song, cool guys don't look at explosions. It's kind of like that. He just 
laced him, and then like walked away like Bruce Willis. Except not Bruce Willis. Um, a little bit less good looking and more hillbilly. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, the, um, so they, they go around and they look at him, or they, they look for the guys a little while longer, and eventually I'm like, guys, you gotta take me to the hospital. The, uh, so they finally dropped me off at the hospital, and I don't know if you can see this, um, but I have like scar here, um, when, so they had to do like pins and washers and all this kind of stuff. So the next day, the same guy who broke my arm commits armed robbery, leaves his wallet at the scene of the crime, and goes to jail for two years, right? But two years later, I'm at a bar, and, uh, and my friends say, there's that guy, you gotta go finish this, you gotta go get him. And I'm like, all right, all right, we're gonna go get him. So I went up to this guy, and I was like, hey man, what's your name? And he's like, you know who I am. Just Cause that's how Rocky talks. The, uh, and I said, we have to go outside, we have some unfinished business to do. And he's like, I understand that. And, and we can go outside, but before we do, I want you to know that if there was one thing I could take back in my entire life, and he's looking me in the eyes. He's like, if there's one thing I could take back in my entire life, it would be what I did to you. And I thought about that every day, and I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. And it was the exact opposite of what I actually expected. Like I had no, like I wasn't prepared for this at all. The, and you know, I like, like this guy was sincere. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I pay attention to people and you know, I had nothing. I'm just like, all right, man, the, the uh, I didn't know what to say. I was speechless. I was like, well, we'll talk about this another day. And I have never seen him since. The, um, you know, on a side note, we do stupid things all the time, you know? I'll tell you, I'll tell you stories in other videos about all of the stupid things that, you know, that I've done in my life. The, uh, and there's a lot of them. You know, this guy did a stupid thing. You know, he was, he was messed up over a girl and thank God for him that it didn't kill me. Imagine if he did. Imagine if that baseball bat had hit me between the eyes. I mean, it would have changed everything for that guy. The, I mean, even worse than the armed robbery thing. Um, you know, so I hope, I really do hope that, you know, that, that everything worked out all right for him. And, and I'm not angry with the guy because I've done my own stupid things in life. I think your best bet is click subscribe down below. I don't know exactly what days that the video is gonna come out, but if you click subscribe, then you'll see it when it does. And we'll talk soon.